Hey, I'm Chris McKee, and welcome to Inside the Music Industry Podcast. On today's episode, I will explain the ultimate music industry secret in Canada. The one question everybody in the music industry wants to know is, how do I get a much fat grant? Well, sit tight, because in today's episode, I'm going to give you some insight that has helped me get about a dozen different MuchFact grant approvals for my artists over the past five years. This is a very tightly guarded secret within the music industry in Canada, but I'm here to increase your chances of getting access to grants of up to $30,000 towards the making of a music video. Okay, first things first, I should probably put out a disclaimer that in no way am I affiliated with much fact or much music, and that I'm pretty sure they won't be happy that I'm talking about this, but who cares? Okay, keep in mind you must be a Canadian citizen to apply for a much fact grant. Assuming you are Canadian, there are seven mandatory items that must be included with your much fact application in order to be eligible. Number one is an MP3 of the song. Make sure it's of good quality and a fully complete song. Now, the main thing to keep in mind, and this is really important, is that the Much Fact Committee will review up to three to 400 applications each round. So they only listen to about a minute and minute 15 seconds of each song. So if you have a song with a long intro, you likely won't get approved. Pick a song from your catalog that will catch the attention of the listener in the first few seconds. Number two, have a nice and simple treatment. For those that don't know what a treatment is, you write out a brief storyboard of your idea for how the video will look. Like I said earlier, the Much Fact Committee will review several hundred applications each round. So they don't have the time to read through some novel of pages and pages detailing every specific shot. You don't need to wow them with how in detail you can be with your shot process because they just don't care. Keep your video idea short and simple. Explain each scene of the video in just a few sentences and use pictures to help translate what your video will look like. Once I started writing my own treatments and using this technique is when my grant approval started to roll in round after round. Number three, have a detailed marketing plan written up. The Much Fact Committee isn't going to hand you a check for a video for anywhere between ten dollars to $30,000 if you don't have a solid plan in place for the song and video once it's complete. So you'll need to spend many hours writing out a solid plan explaining what your plan is to market the album. Do you have a plan in place that is going to make this video a success across Canada, not just your city? Do you have a radio promoter in place to help work the song and video? Are there any national tour plans in place? Do you have a recognized booking agent that has booked you something real and cross-country? You know, having a solid marketing plan in place is what separates the haves and the have-nots and can make or break your application. Number four, you must include an artist bio with the application. Keep it short and simple with the bio. Nobody cares that when you were 12, you bought a Michael Jackson album that changed your life. Short and sweet and make it look like you spent more than three minutes typing it. Number five, you need to include the press photo of the artist in your application. Get some decent pictures done of your band. In this day and age of iPhones and filters, there should be no reason your artist doesn't have some decent press photos. The next time you're in a local bar, look at the band's photo on the wall of the local classic rock cover band that is promoting their upcoming gig at the bar. Okay, look at those photos and then do the exact opposite of what they've done. Number six, you have to include the song lyrics with the application. The committee will take a quick look through to make sure there isn't any excessive swearing or anything weird. Remember, they want to be able to air these videos on much music without editing out or the cursing or any nonsense. And the last thing you need to include is recent press or publicity of your band. If you don't have anything, you probably shouldn't be applying for the grant. It means your band isn't ready. If you do have press, include important press that all members of the Much Fact Committee can relate to. They all know what the Toronto Star or Now Magazine or the Georgia Strait is. That's important press. But if you only have interviews from some unknown hip-hop or doom metal blog that you were featured in, it likely won't help your case to get a grant. Keep in mind there are video production companies that can help you submit a solid application on your behalf. Companies like The Field in Toronto are amazing. Shout out to Sherry Sinclair. And they can be a big help, and I've used them to submit applications for my artists in the past. 
However, when I've written my own treatments and submitted my own applications is when I started to get grant approvals. Those video production companies are often submitting apps for anywhere between 10 to 30 bands each round. So naturally, they won't put the same amount of time and effort into each application. I don't even let video directors write treatments or submit applications for my artists anymore. Once I started using these methods I just laid out for you, the grant approvals started rolling in. This has been an episode of Inside the Music Industry. Don't forget to look out for my next podcast and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for listening. I'm Chris McKee.